Hi, everybody, and happy Friday. This is the weather hazard briefing for Friday, June 16th from the National Weather Service office here in Pocatello, Idaho. We'll see a few more spotty showers and a few isolated storms again today, and that will even continue into part of the weekend with more moisture arriving Sunday into Monday. We're going to talk about that as we uh, go through the briefing here. Key points again, a couple of spotty showers and storms today and tomorrow basically being a repeat, mainly confined to the central mountains and uh, eastern highlands, but we could see a few of those isolated showers or storms try to make their way down into part of the Snake Plain. Those uh, more widespread showers and storms will return as we go uh, Sunday into Monday as the next system moves in, but that will cool us down into early next week. We're continuing to see our river flooding gradually subside. Um, again, that uh, little caveat with that is any storms uh, over the weekend that have a little bit more moisture to work with still could produce some heavy rainfall rates, and we'll be keeping an eye on that, of course. Here's a look at satellite this morning. You look at Idaho, and there's not a whole lot going on, actually. Um, very quiet, uh, mainly a few clouds out there, but most of those are starting to dissipate now, even early this morning. Um, but again, we will see that change as we go through the day today with a few more uh, isolated showers and storms possible. Our weather risk outlook grid looking very similar to yesterday. Um, we will have a few isolated showers and storms out there today and tomorrow. Uh, more widespread activity returns to the area this weekend, especially late Sunday into Monday as that next system moves through. And uh, we'll keep a little bit of that moisture around into the first half of next week too. So not completely dried out by the time we get to Tuesday, unfortunately. Uh, looking at uh, the national forecast, looking at Idaho, you see things, again, relatively quiet for today. Um, but notice the cold front back to the northwest. That's the one that's going to be arriving Sunday into Monday. Here's a look at one model's take on how they could uh, see the showers and storms kind of evolve as we go into this afternoon. Again, most of those will be uh, mainly in parts of the eastern highlands. Um, up towards the Island Park and Driggs area, but we'll likely see a few popping up down in the southeastern corner of the state, too. Um, as we get closer to about, oh, maybe 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon again, as we kind of start heating things up during the day. But we'll also see a few isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder through parts of the central mountains, too. Um, there you see a couple of those showers try to make their way into the Snake Plain. Uh, again, I think a lot of us will stay dry still today. But if you happen to get a quick shower or a brief storm, don't be too surprised either. Uh, again, you see a few of those pop up during the evening down in the southeastern corner of the state. But they will still be few and far between. Here's a look at our highs for the day today. Most of us in the upper 60s to low 70s. A few mid-70s by the time you get into the Magic Valley. Uh, wind gusts will start to pick up a little bit more as we go throughout the day today. But not too bad. Um, anywhere from about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we get into Saturday, there you see that cold front getting closer to us. Uh, still not to our area just yet on Saturday. Again, it'll be arriving on Sunday, but that is going to bring uh, another influx in moisture. So we'll see another round of some isolated showers and storms on Saturday. And again, they won't be for everyone. They'll be fairly few and far between. Temperatures will be able to warm up a little bit more, though. So some of us will get close to 80 degrees in the Magic Valley on Saturday afternoon, while the rest of us top out still generally in the 60s to mid and upper 70s. The winds will continue to pick up as we go through the day on Saturday ahead of that next uh, front moving in. Start to see some gusts around 20, 25, maybe up to 30 miles per hour. Um, but then as we get into Sunday, notice here on the uh, forecast chart here, you see that cold front starting to work its way through our area. Again, that is bringing more moisture with it and a pretty decent cool down behind that front too. In fact, here you see those temperatures on Sunday dropping a few degrees with most of us in the 60s and 70s. Um, the winds will be quite noticeable with that front, too. We'll likely see some gusts up to about 35, 40, maybe even 45 miles per hour. So uh, we don't have any products out for this now. Would not be too shocked if you see uh, potentially a wind advisory coming over the next couple of days for Sunday. It looks to be a fairly windy day for us. Some of us will see some decent rainfall with this, too, through the weekend into early Monday. Uh, certainly could see a quarter to even a half an inch. Again, it depends uh, where some of the heavier rainfall or even a few isolated storms move through. But check out temperatures then as we get into Monday. You'll notice they're a little bit cooler, more 60s to low 70s. And then by the time we get to Tuesday, uh, more of us in the 50s and low to mid 60s. So that's a solid uh, 
10 to almost 15 degrees below average for this time of the year for many of us, so pretty significant cool down there. As far as some of our flooding products go, we still have a few flood warnings and advisories out, but we have uh, knocked out a couple of them. Uh, we still, though, do have the Big Wood River at Haley in uh, right at basically a minor flood stage. Uh, again, we'll keep an eye on how the uh, rain over the weekend will impact this. Wouldn't be too surprised to see it come up just a little bit. Uh, you see kind of that reflected by the time we get to Monday. It will have fallen back down to action stage based on the current forecast, but uh, likely come back close to the minor flood stage thanks to some of that rain. The Port Neuf River at Pocatello continues to slowly drop. It's still kind of hanging out right at the uh, minor flood stage line, but is expected to continually drop slowly but surely as we go through the weekend. Um, the Port Neuf at Topaz holding fairly steady. It looks like we did have a little bit of uh, potentially bad data or questionable data in there for a little bit this evening into early this morning. Um, but again, this forecast is mainly holding steady in the minor flood stage. The Bear River at the border has fallen into the action stage uh, and is expected to kind of stay there for the next couple of days before slowly dropping off. So again, we'll be keeping an eye on these to see if we can uh, make any more adjustments as we go through the uh, end of the week here into the weekend. Antelope Creek near Darlington also hanging out right around the minor uh, flood stage falling into the uh, action stage. So in summary, we will still see a few spotty showers and storms today and tomorrow. Uh, I think a lot of us will still mainly stay dry, but again, don't be shocked if you do notice an isolated shower or storm working its way through your area, especially if you're in the Central Mountains and even more so into the Eastern Highlands. Uh, more widespread showers and a few rumbles of thunder return Sunday into Monday with that next system, which will also cool us down into early next week. And again, we are seeing our river flooding gradually subside but with more rain and storms in the forecast. I'm definitely going to be keeping a close eye on those because we know it just takes one, maybe two storms to have a big impact on some of those river levels. Of course, we always appreciate any um, reports that you can give us of weather ongoing across the area. Best way to do that is through social media or go ahead and give us a phone call or send us an email. You can do those things too if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the forecast. And of course, you can always find our uh, latest updates on our website and on social media too. Have a great day.